Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on the Dion and MFA standard three layer pentahedron. It's uh, it's not too difficult and you only need one algorithm for it, which is a very common cuboid algorithm. So before I start the tutorial, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to name the pieces. So basically, it's kind of weird with this puzzle because like this, it looks like a center and it does indeed turn like a center. And these look like edges, and they do indeed turn like edges. But you can also turn these like centers. And now it's like this has become um, an edge. So it's like it's like these two pieces. It's like the but it's like the both centers and edges at the same time. It's just it's just really strange. I don't really understand it. Um, so, but I'm just gonna the names that I give the pieces is just going to be based on how they look to me. So I'm going to be calling these pieces centers because they do look like centers and I'm going to be calling these pieces edges because they do look like edges. Um, this is a real edge, this is a real corner and this is a real center. So let's get this scrambled. Okay so the puzzle is now scrambled. Now there are certain situations which sometimes happen on this and sometimes they don't. So while I'm teaching you how to solve this, if something happens on your pentahedron which doesn't happen on this, don't worry because I'm going to cover like anything that doesn't happen during this solve. Um, after the solve I'm going to cover all the other things that can happen. So I'll put up a, a time now on the screen to where you need to go to in the video to see where I cover all the other things. So first what I'd like to do is to solve this middle band going all the way around the puzzle. And it's not too difficult really. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick any colour basically on these uh, on these edges. Um, well, except for for colours on the edges which are matching with the uh, centres. So I'm going to pick this white. I'm going to see if white is over here and it's not. So let's see this orange. See if there's an orange over there and it is. So I know if I turn this it's going to match up with this orange piece. Now I'm going to pick this blue side of the uh, the edge, see if there's blue over there, and there is. So I'm going to join them both up. And now all I have to do, because I can see this, is, this part is complete, and this part is complete. So all I need to do is to just turn this and that is the band completely solved. Now it can kind of work out differently. Um, there is something else that can happen while you're trying to solve this uh, this band, and I will. There's a certain technique to it, and I will cover that at the end of this uh, this solve. So what I like to do now is I like to just pick my uh, my bottom face, and I always pick the purple face, and we've got a purple center there. So we know this is going to be the purple face. So we'll put that at the bottom. And I can. What I'm going to do now is put the the edges into this bottom layer, which have purple on them. We can see this edge is already correct. This one isn't because white isn't is not matching with the blue. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to look for an edge in this top layer, which is like, which has purple on it, and it's this one, and it's got blue on it there. So what I'm going to do, this blue center, I'm going to flip it around. And then I'm going to move this edge with purple and blue on it to there. So now the blue is matching with the blue center. And now I'm going to flip it back. And we've now put in our purple edge with blue on it. And we just do that for all of the edges in the bottom layer. So let's see. We need an edge there. We've got white there. So we've got a purple and white edge there. So flip this around. Move the purple and white edge over to here so it matches with this uh, white center. And now we'll flip it back. And now we have put in all of our bottom edges. So now it's time to put in the, uh, the bottom corners. So I'm only going to put in two of the bottom corners and I'll explain why um, shortly. So let's just let's find a corner in this top layer which has purple on it, so there's this one um, let's see what colours are on it, we've got white and orange so we need to look 
for a space in this bottom layer where you've got one edge which is white and one edge which is orange. So we can see we've got white there, orange there, so this corner with white and orange on it belongs down there. And uh, to get it down there we just use the, uh, the simple common cuboid algorithm which is R U R U prime R and we can see we put that corner in and this this part this part of the middle layer it's flipped but don't worry about that um, so what, what we do when we put in the other corner is we don't turn the puzzle around because we'll just mess up the uh, the middle band even more so what we do we, we we keep on holding the puzzle the way it is so let's say I want to put a corner into there I'll bring this over to there like that and now let's see I need a, uh, a corner with orange and blue on it and purple and it's there so we do the same algorithm again R U R U prime uh, and it's down there. So now we look for where we need to put the uh, the third corner with purple on it and it's there. So we move that over to here and rather than putting this uh, this corner into there with purple on it, um, if I do that then this layer it will still probably be messed up. What, what I do is uh, is I'll look at what colour is on the right with this corner which has yellow on it and we've got orange there and I look for an edge in the top layer which has orange on it which is that one and I move move it over to there so so when you do the algorithm the common cuboid algorithm it doesn't obviously it doesn't just put the corner at the top into the bottom it also puts the corner at the bottom into the top and when this corner at the bottom moved it in, moves into the top it's going to flip around so this orange is going to go around like that and match with that orange. Now the technique of matching up the colour on the right of the bottom corner with the colour on the edge on the left in the top layer I didn't actually, when I was trying to figure out how to solve this puzzle I didn't actually figure out the technique uh, and this is what's so weird the idea of doing that it just popped into my head for some reason and I had no idea whether it would work or not um, but for some reason I just I just had the desire to try it out and luckily it did work so I'm not really sure what was going on there but it's really rare that that actually happens usually when I manage to come up with an idea on how to solve a particular part of a puzzle or how to solve the whole puzzle usually it's because I've actually figured it out um, it's very rare that an idea will just pop into my head and I'll have no idea why it did do or if it will even work and then when I try it it actually works, it's kind of weird so anyway, so let's do the algorithm to put this corner into here which will match up this orange with this orange so R U R U prime R now we look at the uh, the bottom corner again so we just keep doing this over and over again until the whole puzzle is solved sometimes you can just do it like say maybe a couple of times or whatever and it's solved and then other times you have to do it more than a couple of times so let's look at the corner uh, the colour on here it's white let's look for the white edge which is there we'll put it over to the right and we do the same algorithm again R U R U prime R and the puzzle is now solved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover other things that can happen while you're trying to solve this. So this is a certain situation which can happen with the middle band while you're trying to solve it. So like this bit is solved but then this bit it's not and you pick a colour on one of these corners so let's pick blue and we look over there to see if blue is there so we can match it up there's no blue there so we pick this colour white and let's see if there's a white over there to match it up with and there isn't so we pick orange we look over there there's no orange there we pick orange again we look over there there's no orange there 
all you need to do is to just flip this around and now we pick one of these colours I'm going to pick white and we look over there for white and white is indeed there so we move this over to there and now we look at the colour there obviously if you picked this colour first and moved over to there then you'd be looking at this colour but you look at the colour there it's blue and we look over there we've got blue there so we bring it over to match up with the blue and now you can see this bit is solved this bit is solved and all you have to do is to just twist this and your middle band is now solved so here is a situation that can happen when you're trying to match up the colour on the right of the bottom corner which has yellow on it with an edge in the top layer so we've got blue on the right of this let's look for the edge with blue on it it's there so we move it over to there now when I move this up into the top layer rather than another corner with the yellow on it going down into there this corner with purple on it is going to go down into there now usually more often than not when that happens the whole puzzle will be solved but sometimes it won't be solved so let's do the algorithm to move this up into there uh -huh. U R U prime R now we can see that all of the purple corners are in the bottom layer the whole bottom layer is solved but the top layer it's not solved we don't have a corner there with yellow on it to match with an edge in the top corner so what we do is uh, we just pick a corner in the top layer with yellow on it and we move it down into there now we don't pick the, the same corner which had yellow on it that we moved that we just moved into the top layer I think it was this one because then you would just be back where you started so you pick one of the other two I'm going to pick this one move it over like that and we do the same algorithm again to move this corner down into there which has yellow on it R U R U prime R so we now have the corner in the bottom layer with yellow on it we'll look at the colour on the right of it which is white we find the white edge which is going to be there we'll move it around to there and we do the same algorithm again R U R U prime R and once again orange orange edge R U R U prime R and that's it the puzzle is now solved so I think I have covered all of the different things that can happen on this if I haven't then and you know something is happening on yours and you don't know how to solve it then just let me know in the comment section just or if there's anything that you don't understand just ask me in the comment section and I will do my best to uh, to try and help you so yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching